Some new jobs are coming to one central Ohio community, but are they coming at the expense of neighbors' noses? ABC 6's Tom Bosco is live in Delaware, where neighbors have been asking, what's that smell for years? Tom? Yolanda, that smell has been coming from this plant. It's Liberty Casting. That's the name of the business. It's a metal foundry here. Well, Liberty Casting is about to get bigger, and that is not sitting well with some neighbors. So what is that smell? It's hard to describe it, but it's not a good smell. I mean, it's just nasty. When the wind blows right, it's real bad. You can almost not can't stand it. Steve's wife, Loretta, wonders if it's affecting her grandchildren. Whether it could be harmful to them. The smell is coming from Liberty Casting, which is about to expand. The company wants to build a new facility next door and hire 50 new workers. That's despite concerns of neighbors who went to city council with their concerns. I smell it. It does give me a little bit of a headache, a dull headache. Tom Wolber with the group Sustainable Delaware worries about the smell and more. The company has had five notices of violations in the last eight years from the Ohio EPA. Records not being properly kept, emissions problems, and issues collecting dust. Liberty Casting didn't return my call, but told the city the new facility will have no emissions or odors. But that does nothing to remedy the odor coming from the existing plant. Tom Wolber hopes his group can change that. We hope to eventually uh, convince the Ohio EPA to intervene. Now that group, Sustainable Delaware, is collecting testimony from people who are affected by the smell in hopes of presenting that to the Ohio EPA and getting some action. They say they don't want to shut the plant down. Of course, they just want uh, the plant to install better filters to stop that odor. Now, Delaware City Council has approved the expansion plan for the plant here, and they are planning on moving quickly with their expansion, hoping to have the new expanded facility open by the end of this year. Reporting live in Delaware, I'm Tom Bosco, ABC 6 News.